In Huskers Illustrated Radio, presented by the Nebraska Lottery. Time to talk gopher football. Linebacker Mike Rollis with us. Mike, thanks for the time. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So tell us about Chicago, man. It's Big Ten Media Days, and it's kind of a whirlwind. How's it been for you so far? Uh, it's been good. I've just been uh, relaxing, uh, taking some time off, um, hanging out with my guys here, uh, just, just trying to relax, really enjoy myself. So tell me about Adina High School. You're a product out of there. You're, uh, you're a junior, a redshirt junior, so you've been in the program for four years, 6'2", 235. What did you expect coming to play Big Ten football out of, out of your high school? I mean, what were your, your dreams? What did you want to have happen? Yeah, uh, actually, I walked on to, to Minnesota to start. I had some other D1 offers that uh, passed up to come to the Gophers. And um, I just, the Gophers are coming off a down year. Um, but I really believed in the, the direction that the program was going, and I thought uh, it was a good opportunity for me to get some, some early playing time but also play for a good winning team on, on, in a great conference, uh, the top top conference in the nation. Well, in today's financial times, to walk on versus scholarship offers, I mean, what was it about Minnesota that I mean, that's pretty big commitment on your part, man, because that's not yeah. really easy to do. Right. Yeah. No. It was it was a really tough decision for me, and um, I looked at I looked at a lot of other schools very closely, but uh, when it came down to it, um, staying home was a big part for me. And you know, I, I wanted to be a part of turning the Gopher program around, and um, it was it was really a personal thing for me. And I also knew um, I knew deep down that I could do it. I knew I could earn a scholarship, and uh, I knew the coaching staff would give me a chance, and they did. And um, I earned a scholarship uh, in the first camp, so I actually ended up not even paying for, paying for school at all, so it worked out uh, pretty good. It's kind of the way to do it, isn't it? Yeah. That's how you suggest it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mike Rollis with us here, linebacker from Minnesota on Huskers Illustrated Radio. All right, man, what, three wins last year in yep. Minnesota? Coach Kill in his first season. Um, what What do you expect? Uh, what, what kind of coach is Coach Kill? I mean, you've been here long enough. You, you've, you're in that transition mm-hmm. from your previous coach to, to your current coach. How should fans, what should fans expect uh, from the Gophers this season? Yeah, well, to start out um, as a team last year, you know, we started 11 new starters on defense last year. And that, wow. that, was, a, that was a tough transition for us. Uh, we had a really experienced team the year before. And, um, you know, I think we had some talent last year, but it's just it's hard to come into that with no, no game experience hardly at all. And uh, I don't think guys really knew exactly what they were getting into. But now we do. we got a lot of guys coming back, a lot of returners. And uh, Coach Kill's an energetic guy, uh, and he's 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 gonna hold us to a high standard. And he's di- makes us disciplined. And uh, we had a good spring. We got a ways to go, but we're definitely gonna get there. We're gonna keep working to get there. What is the mindset? I mean, defensively, how far can you climb? It's the the, the you know it's there's really no expectation with 11 new starters. You're you're a work in progress. It mm-hmm. probably took a season to even gel. Right. And that's if you didn't have any injuries. Right. Right. Where can the defense go next year? Yeah, uh, like you said, we're getting a lot more comfortable um, with each other now and uh, familiar with each other. So I think the defense, um, I like to think of as, you know, I don't think we have the most talent in the history of college football ever, but, you know, we have enough talent. I like to end so so we can really take this as far as we want to go. It's all about how hard we work, how hard we play together, you know, how focused we are, how no, how well we know the defense, and how hard we play on each and every snap. And if we do all of those things well, I think we, there's no really limit to what we can do as a defense. All right, Nebraska's on your schedule. Nebraska and Minnesota, kind of a, a story behind these two teams. Minnesota used to crush Nebraska back in the 1930s and 40s. <laughs> Last time Nebraska played Minnesota, they put up 84 on them. Yeah. And that was with Rogier, Fryer, and Gill, you know, some of the best ever. Right. Um, what do you guys think of Nebraska coming into the conference? Um, I'm excited because it's another great team to enter the, the conference. And, uh, you know, they've had a great history, but they're also a great team right now. And I've only really got to see them on TV over the years. And mm-hmm. last year I watched them. They got a lot of good players, a lot of exciting players. Um, great defense. They play a great style of football. Um, I think they'll fit in really well with the Big Ten, and I'm definitely uh, looking forward to playing them this year. Awesome. Hey, Mike, best of luck. Great to meet you. Thanks for the time. Thank you very much. And have a great season. Thank you. Mike Rollis, Huskers Illustrated Radio. Quick break back after this. And Huskers Illustrated.